a champion doesn't become a champion in the ring. He's merely recognized in the ring. The becoming happens during his daily routine. The practicing, the developing, the discipline that when applied consistently can get you to the next level. If you look at the true warriors of humanity, you look at the true empire builders, you look at the true titans who are constructing a better world, they're less about pleasure seeking because they understand that if you want to have a great life, a soaring life, look at what most people do and do the opposite. Growth comes through discomfort. You look at a great athlete, it's the way they show up in the championship game is simply how they showed up in the lonely light of the early hours at practice. To have the results, only 5% of the population have. You've gotta be willing to do the things that only 5% of the population are willing to do. There are those of you, you're still immature. When your excitement is up, your effort is up. But when your excitement goes down, your effort goes down. For some of you, you're too seasonal. When you're excited, man, you come into work the first week, the first month, the first three months when you got that job, you were excited, and so you was putting forth effort. You on blaze, not you got comfortable, and you're not excited no more. And guess what happened? Your effort has gone down. So do me a favor, get off of that feeling stuff. Get off your excitement. We not dealing with feelings, because feelings go up and down. You don't have to be excited. You made a commitment to that job. Didn't nobody force you to take that job. You signed your name on the dotted line. And commitment said, I don't care how I feel. I don't care if I'm excited. I don't care if I'm pumped up. I don't care if I'm fired up. You made a commitment. Now it's time to put up. There's only one thing you cannot purchase. There's only one thing you cannot buy. And that's what real beef do. That's something you're going to have to do. You got to put more energy. And you got to put more effort in your stuff than anybody. So you getting up at 4 and it ain't working. Get up at 3.30. So you read the book once and you didn't get it. Read it twice. Read it three times. If a person leaves at 6, you leave at 8. If a person makes 100 calls a day, you make 200 calls a day. If somebody practices three hours, you practice five hours. If somebody practices six hours, you practice eight hours. If someone reads two books, you read four books. Just do a little bit more. Because there's somebody out there who won't show spot. And so you gotta embody excellence. You start training, train like it's your life. Not a game, like it's your life. Like this is the last opportunity, the only opportunity. See a guy like me? I knew someone was better than me. There's more talented people than me. Probably more talented than you. But you might outwork me for 30 days or 60 days or 90 days, but you ain't gonna beat me over a year. You can't outwork me over two years. You aren't gonna outwork me over three years. I'm gonna get you eventually. I'm a dripping damn faucet. I just keep coming at you. You might think I'm knocked out, I just keep coming. I'm too damn tough to give up. Most people half-ass half their life all the time. I knew they were gonna get tired. They were gonna flinch. They were gonna get down. They quit improving themselves. They start sleeping in. They spend all their damn money. I'm not going to do that stuff. I'm going to save money. I'm going to get up early. I'm going to keep getting wild. I'm going to stay relentless.